Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're going back to San Diego from our friends Carl Strauss. This is their Moet et Toi, and I apologize for the pronunciation. It's an 8.5% alcohol by volume, Belgian double. It's part of their 12 Days of Christmas. This is the third installment. Uh, it's a double brewed with fresh apricots, cherries, and a blend of spices, and then they're aging it on brandy cured French oak. So it sounds really interesting. It's They're calling it a fruitcake ale. So let me get into a glass that you guys know. It smells, tastes, and you the final Final verdict on Carl Strauss's Moet de Toi. All right, guys, the aroma on the Moet de Toi. Wow, big dried apricot right up front, dried cherry. Um, it smells like a lot like fresh trail mix with like dried fruits in it, raisin, uh, a little bit of fig, those dark fruits from the Belgian double. Definitely get a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg in this one. Definitely like a kind of a twangy spiciness in there to help kind of cut some of the sweetness. A little bit of roastiness, lots of clove uh, character to it. I'm assuming from the yeast strain, a little bit of uh, like a sweet kind of breadiness in there. Yeah, a really, really interesting smelling beer. All right guys, the taste on the Carl Strauss Muet de Toi. Cheers. Wow, that's really interesting. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a slight kind of that dried apricot uh, taste. A little bit of a bitterness in there. Middle of the mouth though, this thing just explodes. Big cinnamon, nutmeg, lots of cherry, almost like a cherry skin, cherry juice type of flavor. A slight kind of oakiness in there as well. Uh, lots of sweet kind of caramel, uh, dark fruit notes in the mouth as well. Lots of body on this one, just coats the mouth. Nice dry aftertaste though. Um, the aftertaste, I'm getting more of that spiciness from the cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of like an apricot, a dried apricot again in the aftertaste, a little bit of like a cherry juice in the aftertaste. A very, very well balanced yet extremely flavorful beer in an 8.5%. You actually don't taste that alcohol at all. Really easy to drink and it's kind of warming, as it warms up, more more of the flavors start to come out. It's it's one of those beers that just constantly is like kind of shifting back and forth between sweet and dry and spicy and just and fruity. It's just a really really nice take on a Belgian double. All right, guys. So the final verdict on the Carl Strauss Moet de Toi, 8.5 percent alcohol by volume available now. Guys, I'm going to give this one a B plus, and this is easily one of the most interesting holiday Christmas winter beers that I've had this year. Definitely, if you guys want to order this, go to QualityLiquorStore.com. He's got it there in stock. He'll ship it out to you. If you guys are on the West Coast, basically California only, check this one out. So with that said, getting a B plus for me, and one of my favorite winter beers this year, to tell you the truth. So life's too short. Drink amazing beer. Cheers. Cheers.